Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And this is one of my basic skills videos. It's a little bit different to many of the others. Um, this one is a, ta a task that I have to do this morning, uh, which is to install a very small vice to my workbench. Now, if you're just getting into setting up your workshop, um, you know, buying the tools, putting things in the right place, knowing how to install, pillar drills and bench grinders and you know, all the cool stuff we get to play with as mechanics, um, then this might be helpful to you. Because I remember when I was a kid and I, I put my first vice, bolted it to the bench, I actually didn't quite bolt it to the bench properly or in the right way, so it limited the things that I could do with that particular vice. So here is a short video showing you how to correctly install a work vice to your workbench. Here we go. Okay, so the first the first job, this has been outside for a while, and it's one that we've just, just won. We've gained this for free. And it's made by a company called Record. Now, they're an English company, traditionally. And this is their smallest vice, a number one at their time. At that time, these are really good quality, and it's, this is a really good find. And it's hardly any work at all. The vice uh, jaws are in really good nick. It's lost the spring. Um, inside, the spring's either corroded out or it's got jammed. It may come back to life as we start to use it. But this video is to show you how to install it on the bench. Now, if I just tip it on its side like that for you, the critical part is where we're going to put the three mounting holes onto the bench top. And it's all to do with the distance here. When we're putting pieces of work in the vise, we want them to clear the edge of the vise, uh, the edge of the bench. So the edge of the, the steel plate of the bench mustn't protrude beyond where this ruler is. If it did, then we couldn't put longer pieces in the vise and allow them to drop down. So, all we need to do is pop the vise on the bench. Now, I'm going to put this in the middle of the bench, which is very, very weird. Normally, put it on one side. Uh, this has been done because I'm going to be using this vise for a number of videos. And no doubt, I'll be unbolting it when I don't need it. So, it's more of a temporary kind of vise. It's only a little one. And if we just... There we go. Okay, so you can see here there's a shoulder that comes down, and that shoulder sits back oh, three or four mil from this face. So that shoulder there needs to be flush with the edge of our workbench. So very simply, we just we've got the vise opened up so we can expose the third mounting hole at the back, and we just make sure that this jaw here is parallel to the edge of the bench as well, which it is now. And we now need to just mark out those three holes. Now we can do that in one of two ways. Either use a scriber, which is a really easy way of doing it, and you can just mark around like that. Sounds fantastic. That's one, two, Okay. Or the other way is to get a drill bit that's the same size as those holes, and this is an 8, which is a bit too small. We'd have to go maybe for a 9, and then just run the drill bit down until it touches the bench and it will leave a mark. Don't choose a drill bit that's too tight on the hole. You don't want to be drilling the vise itself. We're just using that hole as a guide, and that would give you a little marker point on the centre. Let's do that. Let's choose a drill and have a go at doing that as well. One, two, three. And again, you can just run the drill down and it's going to give us a mark on the bench there, look. Okay, now I prefer using the scriber technique. You can see very clearly where those three holes need to be. Now, once you've marked that up, if you've used the scriber technique, we need to find a center punch and mark those three holes. And then we can run the pilot drills through Probably run a probably a six mil through because this is about eight mil plate. This bench is a really heavy duty bench, and then we'll go through with an eight, and we're going to use M8 bolts to bolt it up. Go one, two, three. Excellent stuff. Okay, so as per the video on how to drill a hole through steel. We'll use, I think the three and a half is what we used last time. There we go. 
Let's pop that into the drill. And eye protection required. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. We've drilled a couple. I'll do that one bit later on. And we'll go through now with a 6mm drill bit. There we go. And then we'll finish off with an 8. So I'll just do one at 6. And then we'll go through with an 8. And lastly, the 8mm. Cool. Okay, so I've drilled one of the holes, uh, well, two of the holes with the pilot drill, and then one of the holes we then followed up with a 6mm drill bit and an 8mm drill bit. And I'm now going to put the pilot drill back in, drill the remaining hole, and then bring them all up to the 8mm size, and I'll show you how to bolt the vise up. Okay, so that's the whole the holes drilled. Next stage is to sweep up all the iron filings, all the swarf we call that, get that put in the bin, and then we can bolt up the vise. Okay, so just grab the vise, found some bolts, one of the holes. I usually do the back one first, just steady that. Now I'm using uh, standard nuts as opposed to nylocks. These are M8 bolts, by the way. And uh, the reason for that is I want this vice, I want to have to remove this vice on a regular basis. So, um, if I was doing a more permanent fix, then I'd be using nylocks. Uh, nylocks are a lot more vibration resistant. But when you're grinding and stuff, you know, you want, um, you don't want those bolts coming loose. Easy. Now I know I make bolts are pretty small really, but it is only a small vise. And just make sure before you finally tweak it up, those jaws are still parallel to the vise face, the, uh, the edge of the bench. Easy, one more to go. That's it, job done. Not for a little bit of use. That's going to start to free off. Put a bit of oil on it. We've got ourselves a really good win. Look at that. Great job. So there you go. Fitting a vise to your workbench. Yes, it might sound really obvious, but believe me, the first time you fit one, it's really easy to get it in the wrong place. Just remember, make sure that you bolt it to something that's really strong. If you've got a wooden bench, then it's a good idea to put a steel plate, uh, like a spreader plate, over an area of that bench. Screw that down to the timber. 
and then when you bolt up the vise it's going to have a really good uh, point of contact and it's not going to move around too much because you know even though you're not doing too big a jobs at the moment maybe later on you're going to start hitting things really hard with the hammer and you don't want your vise coming loose that could cause an accident so it doesn't really take too long what 10 15 minutes job done very happy with that okay my name is Andy Young I'm one of the lecturers at Unitech in Auckland in the automotive department if you have any questions on this video please leave them in the comments section below uh, I hope you found that helpful it's only one of the, uh, the quick basic skills videos just to show you an introduction on how to do things to get your workshop set up and how to perform easy tasks okay cheers I'll run out <laughs>